Praise the Lord. We praise God for the message and the messenger. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I'm busy talking. <laughs> but we praise God for the message and the messenger. I hadn't had my, the Lord hadn't given me a theme or a topic. And the days was coming closer and closer. And I got a few texts asking me what was the topic. I said, well, I haven't gotten anything yet. I said, let me go on through my little list the Lord would, had given me. I have testified about it that years ago, I, I still have that Bible that I read from, that as the Lord would put thoughts in, well, at that time it was thoughts. I didn't know that they were themes and topics and messages that the Lord was giving me. But each time it was given to me, I would wake up or wherever I was, when I was on the train or whatever, I would pull out my little book and I would write it down. And then I would come back home and transport it into that Bible. So I went to these lists and I say, all right, Lord, what is it? And he just put in my spirit, but God. And I just thank God. God knows what we need and he at this moment he wants us to remember who he is as he was saying them but god moments we have to remember that those moments that he steps in and deliver us or deliver our family member or I just want to throw out a quick testimony in here. Just a few days ago, maybe about two or three nights ago, I was in the bed and I had dozed off and went to sleep and was brought out of my sleep hearing two shotguns, two sh the, the shotgun going off twice and still days away in sleep. I, um, you know, my grand son came in and said oh nana what was that was that a gun i said yeah so he was getting ready to go to the window i said no 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 don't go to the window and me i'm nosy i always would run but this particular time i didn't go to the window not thinking nothing else about it you know because when you used to hearing things like that you become accustomed to it and you just go on so then my daughter came in uh for those who know her danielle she came in from work and she works nights and she was saying, she didn't, she said, mommy, there's so many cops outside. And so I commenced to tell her, I said, well, you know, they two shot guns fired off. And she was like, really? She said, I don't know what was going on. She said, but the cab I was in was taking forever just to go a block to get to where we live. And it kept stopping. And, and she would say, no, it's the next block. Can you please go up and take me to my house? And it's, she was saying that it seemed like the cab driver was just slowing. And it, it wasn't like he was way down. I don't know my area that much. I'm on Boston Road. But it wasn't like he was way on 170th. He was right there at 168. But my whole point that I'm getting to is that she could have walked into it. Because she said as soon as she got out the cab, the cops swarmed the car that she was in and began to talk with the driver. So I don't know whether they thought that they had something to do with it, but it was done. But God, if he did not, if he was not there and they would have came on in, who is to say that she would have stepped out of the car and the bullet would have hit her? I don't know who got shot or what happened. And it was so close right across the street. They put the yellow thing over. But we, I don't know, I, I don't know what happened, but I'm glad that God was there at that time and didn't even allow me to go to the window, as nosy as I am. I it's thank God for that, that he protect us, protect them, protect her. And she works at night and she's traveling at night. So I praise God for the protection of him being there. And we all can relate to those but God moments. Praise God. God is a good God on today and not to weary your patience. We're going to give reverence to those that are here of, of title meant. 
and we will go to our um our dr smith and she could if she choose to she can uh call her people or if she want me to to um signal them out she is free to do so let's receive her with a hearty amen 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 praise the lord everybody amen. You, amen. Praise the Lord. I just thank God for the word of God. I thank God for um, Minister Vaughn delivering the word of God. Amen. I was truly blessed. Amen. From the word of God. And uh, we have our bishop, um, Frillo. I would like if he could say some words. Amen. Um, bishop Frillo. Is he, is he still on? Amen. Amen. Thank you for having us today at the part of the youth explosion. Um, thank you for allowing us to uh, be a part of uh, this Zoom service. Uh, it has been a blessing. Uh, thank God for a bishop to uh, a pastor who I do see on here. God bless her. Um, to all of the uh, everyone in their respective places, I, I honor you. Uh, whether I know you or not, I, but I honor everyone in their respective places. To uh, the youth the leader, uh, I'm not sure if it's youth pastor, to uh, missionary Jordan, we thank God for you and your vision. And thank you for allowing um, uh, minister, well, or actually Elder Legvon to minister uh, freely today. Thank you, uh, Elder Legvon, for the word. Um, you, you triggered something in me while you were teaching. I started looking up some scriptures about something, and it, it blessed me today. So thank you for the word. Thank you for this time of sharing. God bless everyone. Thank, Amen. thank you. Amen. Amen. I thank God. Um, give an honor to Pastor Glover on the line. I thank God for you and um, Bishop Anderson. Amen. We have uh, evangelists. Davis on the line. I don't know if she have would she have any words. Alicia Davis. Yeah. Do you have any words you would like to share? No, I really enjoyed um the message. Just very um kind of gets us back to knowing God's the test hearing the testimony, remembering our purpose. And I think that's something that so often we sometimes lose focus on our purpose and just to remember it and to um, get back to God and stay in the face of God so that we can walk out this thing that we can when we go when I go to heaven I want to go to heaven empty I want to have done everything that God has assigned to my hand amen I enjoyed the word minister elder Vaughn amen God to be glory amen the last person I would like to call is Deacon Smith if we still on the line, do you have any words you want to say? Tika Smith, are you still on? Amen. Did he, did he, is he on? He's not on. Okay. So we, once again, we thank you for the invite, and we could say that we enjoyed the service, and we enjoyed everyone. Amen. And to God be the glory. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Evangelist Jordan, for the invite. We are blessed, amen, to be here today. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Thank God for those words. I, I am now connecting the faces with the voices when I come on the line. Praise God that uh, you said the Evangelist Davis. I'm recalling her voice on the prayer line. Praise God. It is a pleasure to meet prayer warriors. Praise God. And I thank God again to our Dr. Smith for the invite of even going on her line to just pray the prayer of faith. Praise God. And thank God for that. I thank God for all the remarks. And we are now going to bring our own pastor before us pastor of the house of prayer our pastor glover let's give her a hearty amen 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 i don't know unless you can hear praise the lord praise, praise the lord 
Uh, I thank God. I give honor to God and to Dr. Smith, to uh, Minister Smith and uh, Bishop Furlow, Deacon Smith, Evangelist Jordan, Evangelist Odom, uh, to Missionary Stevens, and to everyone, anyone whose name I may fail to call, everyone who's on the line today. I thank God for uh, just being blessed. Yeah. I have really enjoyed all the testimonies, right. all the songs, all the sayings, and especially the word of God. Yeah. It was truly a blessing, praise God. I, I, I had to look real hard because I couldn't remember fun. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's such a man now. It's been so long, so many years since I have seen him. But it's truly blessed my soul today, and I'm glad that I was able to get online. I don't know much anything really about Zoom, but uh, Missionary Stevens went through it with me the other night. Then Evangelist Jordan sent me something that was that all I had to do is click on and put the password today. So mm -hmm. I thank God for that, and uh, we just you know uh, encourage those who are not saved to get saved. Praise God. Mm -hmm. You, you think you're enjoying God now, but if you get salvation and the Holy Ghost, yes. you will really enjoy God. Praise God. I thank God for you, uh, uh, Evangelist Jordan, uh, how God has blessed your ministry and how he's continuing to do so. Praise God. And, and just to ask you to continue to go on no matter what obstacles come your way. Just keep pressing forward because, and keep in mind the but God that would be right there with you, praise God. And we thank God, I, 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 he said so many wonderful things, uh, explaining so many things that you can't even mention them all, praise God. So all we have to do is remember what he said about the but God uh, moments. Uh, everything that God has done for us, because in this, uh, a pandemic we can certainly say but god yes. otherwise some of us could have passed away some of us could have had the virus some of us could be suffering right now but god but thank god. you mm -hmm. praise the lord thank god for those encouraging remarks as she said but god thank god again for those who have came accept the invite and came on in mm -hmm. praise god for our 16 participants we thank god for you and all that has been said i just want to say this right quick in reference to the orphan um uh, my service leaders and the choir members y'all know what y'all was supposed to have given and was sent off already to our missionary stevens Praise God. With that being said, if there be no other words, no other announcements, our um, uh, Dr. Smith, do you have an announcement that you would care to share or anything? Well, I would just like to say tonight at 730, we're going to be on Zoom. And come and check us out. Come in. We're going to be on our book club. And we are going to be talking about uh, the book that we're reading and dealing with growth in the church and what the theme that we're on right now is what is the blocks that we got to get rid of that's causing no growth mm -hmm. so we we doing we really enjoying it we had a a, a christian movie that we actually read and read because we're going to be discussing that with the book and it's the movie is called in his steps amen you can find it on youtube and you're going to see the things that hinder church growth. So we're just having a good time, you know, right. in this book and of course with the word of God. So come and join us tonight at seven thirty. Amen. And that's it. And just and next and sorry, 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 sorry. And on tomorrow is this day, children's day. Amen. Right. So at four thirty we're gonna be celebrating our children. Amen. On um our eternal change families page. So just keep us in prayer. Amen. God is keeping us busy in this time. Amen. But God, amen. To God be the glory. Amen. 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 God's good. Amen. Praise, Praise God. God.
Praise the Lord. Um, I'm sorry. Excuse my manners. Um, Missionary Stephen, is there any announcements that you care to share? No. No. Okay. I think our children, I don't know whether we're having children's day tomorrow or not. But um, thank God again. And pra- Good morning. Praise the Lord. They're I'm sorry. It. They're supposed to be doing it tomorrow morning. Okay. For the 11 o'clock service. Okay. With the children and the youth. Okay, so we'll have our Children's Day tomorrow at 11 o'clock. The children and the youth. Day. Mm-hmm. Okay, starts at 11. Well, praise the Lord. With that being said, we're going to close out with the closing song. May God be with you. Ooh, God be with you. Whoa. to close us out and send us home. I mean, we'll send us. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. God, we thank you uh, for this pleasant time to be in your presence. We thank you for all that was done and said and sung in your presence and in your hearing. I pray, oh God, most importantly, that you are pleased, oh God, by our offering up of sacrifices of praise. You know, prior, God, I pray, oh God, that you uh, also remain and dwell in each and everyone's home and i pray lord god that you continue to keep them safe and sound from all hurt harm and danger and i thank you god for this impartation oh god that we're able to receive from your word and god we thank you oh, and i pray god that everyone uh, are able to enjoy the rest of this lovely day in your precious name amen 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 Y'all, everybody have a blessed day. Thanks for coming again. Have a blessed day, everyone. You too. You too. Amen. God bless you.